as of late, there has been a lot of discussion of putting the same task into multiple lists and duplicating things and making things easier because different departments need to see things and linking them everywhere just makes life easier. So I've been told. And today is my turn to challenge you on that. And I want to show you how we build an amazing setup for a digital agency to make all of this happen without ever having to link a single task. Everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you are ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, then you are perfect right here and it's your turn to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tip or template right here on my channel for you. Now let's dive into this issue or not issue, maybe it's not an issue for you. ClickUp has the capability of linking tasks. So the same task shows up in two different spots, which can be a really big help if you're working in an agency, if you have multiple departments, if the advertising agency side works with the web team and all of those things but so far and nobody has proven me wrong yet <laughs> there's no need to actually link those tasks and I want to show you today how we set up agencies where this often happens in ClickUp and make it easy no duplicating no worrying no linking no nothing and we all do that simply with a custom view let's jump over on my ClickUp shall we when you look at this, you see in the agency, you see the exact same setup that I've been preaching for months. You got your client space, just called it agency right here. You got your client folder. Again, nothing new right here. If you've been around, you've seen this. You got the different departments or the services your client signed up for right underneath. Now here's tip number one, have an onboarding list. There's always the same process. There's always the same questions we need to ask every single client. Build out that workflow, have an onboarding list ready with all of those tasks. And once the client is onboarded, whoop, you just archive those lists and it's gone. You don't need that information anymore. You still can pull it up if you need it, but it doesn't need to be in front of you every single day. Now with the rest, I'm like looking at this. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Not a problem, Evie. Yeah, I kind of get that. But where the problem comes in is when the web team specifically wants to just see what's happening, especially when you're running with five clients and 10 clients and 20 clients, I don't wanna see what advertising is up to. Cool, then let's do that. We go up in the agency level, so where all of the clients are, just imagine we don't just have one client in there, we have multiple clients in there. So you're going up to the space level and in the space level, <gasps> Look, there's a custom list called web. Now, how did we do this? This is literally just web tasks. So when you look into client A, I did multiple tasks. I did two onboarding tasks, two web tasks, two social media tasks, two advertising tasks, just, just for the show, just to show you. Now, when I go up in the space level and I'm on the web tab, I only see web. It's really that simple. Now, how do we do this? And you wanna stay tuned till the end. There is some issues with this, but I'm gonna show you how you can make sure this is not gonna be an issue for you. So stay till the end, you're not gonna regret it. List view, I usually pin my list view so I can rearrange them however I want them rather than having them all tapped together. Using that list view, pin it and we add the view. Now let's do this specific view for, let's do social media. We'll just call it social media. We want all of the social media tasks in here. Now what you're gonna do is you do filter by task, start typing location, when you can type, location folder is, and then you go through the drop down. So you find your client space, which in this case is the agency space. You open up client A and you choose social media. Yes, guys, this needs to become a piece in your client onboarding SOP because every new client that you set up in a new folder with new lists needs to be added into this filter, meaning the moment you add client B, you need to go back into this filter and you need to add the social media list from client B for it to show up here. Big, huge exclamation point right here. 
This needs to go into your SOP the moment you set it up or you're gonna lose tasks. There's your tip number one. There's another one coming too though. And now suddenly, look at that. Only the social media tasks are showing. With that, you easily can look at your client project as a client. Meaning client A, there it is, all of the stuff that's happening. You know the sorting, that's all cool. It's all right there. We've talked about this in past videos. You can drill down what's happening with the onboarding, what's happening with the web, what's happening with the social media. You got the lists right there if you wanna drill down on this that way. For the departments now, you are going up into the space and you are going through web, social media. You do the same thing for the advertising. You do the same thing for onboarding. Now your departments can see everything across every single client. Now here is a reminder. There is a video that deep dives into this. When you are building these, and let's go into the board view, I want you to use simple statuses. Don't use stages. You want really just what is happening with this task. And we have found in testing that these right here are the most common one. To do, meaning stuff that's coming up. In process, this is what we are working on. Waiting for internal. We need an internal decision. Somebody on the team needs to make some kind of a decision. We are waiting on something from our team. Big exclamation point on this. Use a bright color, red, pink, whatever it is. There's something you need to do. Waiting on the client. That means client hasn't submitted, client hasn't approved. What the heck is going on? Follow up with the client. We need the stuff to get it done. The final proof and complete. This usually covers like 99% of your cases in statuses and you don't need more than that. But what do I mean by stages? We talked about stages earlier and you can watch the whole video on it. Stages means the process this task is going through, which could be on video editing, the storyboarding, the editing, the proof to the client, recording B-roll, whatever it is. On web design, it's the onboarding phase, it's the pre-development, it's the development phase, it's the checking everything, proofing everything. There's multiple stages that goes through. Advertising, are we maintaining the ad? Is it a fresh test ad? That is all stages and you want this right here in your stages on the site. To show you, I just used my content stages that I pulled in from my social media marketing workflow that you can find in another video of mine. We pull in the status. We often pull in comments too. So you can just go into add column, set these up again. I'm not gonna deep dive into this. There is a video that covers all of that. We pull in the comments. You also wanna have the due date in there. So now we have it all again and you can nicely move that around assignee due date priority if you work with priority here's another pro tip for you if your team really uses the priority you can add a list view we pin that view throughout everything i don't even sort those and we do that by priority and that is your on fire list Meaning, if something gets marked as a high priority and urgent, it moves it up. Meaning, every morning you can look and be like, oh, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire. We need to take care of those. Awesome, now we can go back to normal business. That's a nice one to have too. With this, you are able to look at your tasks and your projects and your clients in a project base, which you should because web works with advertising, works with graphic design, works with audio. Departments work with each other. You always should look at your clients on a project base, not just a department base. But there definitely is need for the department to be able to look at their web design projects or just at their advertising projects and really be able to drill down throughout all of those clients and be able to say, this needs to be taken care of, this needs to be taken care of, and this needs to be taken care of. I don't care what's happening, which, which client it is, and what's blah. I just need to know what needs to be done in my department right now. Here you go. Now there is one thing, and this is why I always recommend grabbing the business account because you never run into any of those issues. Everybody can change these views right now. That can really end up in a shit show. So what I want you to do is 
upgrade on the business plan, walk up to message me and I might have something for you. And then once you're on the business plan, you go into your settings. Let's, let's use the web one. A web guys, they never pay attention where they click. So let's make sure they cannot screw it up. There's a protect view here. That protect view allows us to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, UVA, you are not changing how this thing looks. You are not accidentally taking off a client and suddenly we are losing those tasks because it doesn't funnel into this custom view. This is a legit possibility. Had it happen. Now you can protect the view and you can be the only one that can unlock this. Not practical because we want to get you out of the business. So what you do is you go in here and you either way can say anyone can unprotect the view. Nobody other than you can unprotect the view or only admins can. So what I recommend is your core team, make them admins in here and you are done. Everybody that is not in an admin role, that is not in a higher level role, that is not head of department, that is not executive assistant or CEO. You as the owner can always unprotect. All of those should just be for members. If this doesn't quite work out for you, you can just go through the list and be like, can protect view or cannot protect view. And once that layout is protected, nobody can change it. So the moment I am going in here and I'm axing this filter out, okay, you see, protected view, you can't save layout changes. So yes, it changed it, it's looking different, but the moment I reload, it's back to what it's supposed to be. Bulletproof! And you know exactly, because you drilled down the access, that that person, that person, or that person did it. So why is the view different? Why are things not happening? Okay, short reiteration. Set up your agency or your space. This is usable for every company. In a way, as I taught you, the client becomes the folder, the lists underneath become the services that they booked with us. You then build your custom list view through the location filter. You protect that view and done. That simple. And now you easily can cross reference between the client work in a manner of looking at it as a whole project or by department. And don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Really that simple. I'll see you next time.